welcome to another trip report. Those of you that subscribe to my channel regularly and watch my last video know that I ended my day at Zagreb uh, here in Croatia. I'm at the Royal Airport Hotel here in Zagreb, a complete steal at £40 a night and actually one of the best airport hotels I've stayed in. Today I'm travelling to Split in business class on a Dash 8 Q400 operated by Croatia Airlines. It's only a short hop of about an hour but then in Split I'll be connecting through to London Heathrow on an Airbus A320, also in business class and also operated by Croatia Airlines. That is actually the main um, section of this particular trip. But today's focus will just be on the short hop between here and Split, which is in the very south of Croatia. Croatia is a beautiful country and I'm hoping that the weather clears up a little bit today so that we get to see some of it as we fly over. I'm quite looking forward to this as I've never actually been in business class on a turboprop aircraft before and I'm not quite sure um, how Croatia are going to set up and deliver their service. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. I'm going to head to the airport now on the shuttle and we'll start the ball rolling. Enjoy the video. <music> So I'm just through security here at Zagreb Airport. One thing that you'll need to be aware of if you are travelling through Zagreb is that the airport is divided into two halves. The bigger half, or should that be a bigger portion, is devoted to international flights and that's beyond a wire fence which you may or may not be able to see at the very far end there. I'm in the domestic half because I'm flying domestically within Croatia today to split and the important thing is that the area devoted to domestic flights does not have a lounge. So although my business class ticket entitles me to use the lounge, I actually can't get there uh, because it's in the international side of the airport. It's really no biggie though, this is only a flight of about an hour, so I wasn't really expecting to make use of the lounge anyway. As you can see, even with 30 minutes to go before boarding, my gate is deserted. Um, so yeah, let's just see how many people turn up for this. Okay, so a lot of people ask me, what is the flight app that I use to track my flights? And it's this one here, Flight Radar 24, which you can download for free from the App Store on uh, iTunes. So you can track the inbound flight quite easily. If we look at uh, Zagreb Airport, which is just here, it's where we are today. Zagreb Airport. Now let's look at our landings. Now I know that I'm going to be on a Dash 8 Q400 uh, operated by Croatian Airlines and that my flight leaves at uh, 10.40 today. Um, so the only one that it could be, if we look at the arrivals, is that one there coming in from Munich. And that's how you track the inbound flight. We just pinch out, we can see exactly where the flight is. We can see that it's currently descending on its way into Zagreb, just passing through 8,000 feet at the moment, five minutes away from the airport. And that is basically how you track an inbound flight on Flight Radar 24. At bigger airports and hub airports where it's not always obvious which aircraft or which inbound aircraft is going to be operating your return flight out somewhere, uh, you can actually have a look at uh, the departures board on Flight Radar 24. We can see here that this uh, flight that's going to be leaving in an hour and a bit to Berlin Tegel is operated by Golf Echo Uniform Papa Hotel. And you can actually just go into the uh, search function here and find exactly where the aircraft is at any given moment. Um, so that's another way that you can find out where your inbound flight is. Hi. 
Thank you. In the event of emergency situation over water, each seat has a life jacket under the cushion. If instructed to do so by the crew, pull your life jacket over your head.
Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. And that's it guys, welcome to Split in Southern Croatia. I'm actually just connecting here, but I'm forced to come landside to check in again for my connecting flight to London, which leaves in a couple of hours time, and that'll be the subject of course of the next trip report on this channel. Perfectly decent flight with Croatia Airlines today. I'm always amazed that they're able to serve any kind of food at all on a flight that short. That flight's booked for 50 minutes, breaks off to breaks on. The flying time, only 30 to 35 minutes. So the fact they can get any food out at all and clear it away is a testament to how hard the staff work on those flights. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap up the video right now and check in for my flight back to London with Croatia Airlines in business class. I hope you enjoyed coming with me. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Apple breeze. <laughs>